Do not get into real estate before you try this. Hey everybody, Jared Jones, broker owner of Jones Group Real Estate in Central Florida. On the onset of this video, let me tell you this. I've been in real estate going on 19 years. I've sold real estate in two marketplaces, thousands of homes in Las Vegas, hundreds of homes in Central Florida. And I'll tell you this, I have seen so many agents come and go. If you go online and search, you see that the recidivism rate, that is the rate that people get into real estate and get out of real estate and fail is, is mind boggling. And I can tell you as a real estate agent, I've sat in 18 barber chairs in the salons and all this and, and go on the stores and get my groceries checked out. I can't tell you how many people that I've run into that when they say, what do you do? And you say you're a realtor, they go, oh, I'm going to get my license too. I can tell you that the numbers say that the main people winning on real estate licensees is the people giving out licensees. That's weird. Giving out. The licensees are licensed. Yes. So when you get into real estate, the number one problem you have is customers. Okay. Yes. You need customers. You have a license. Now what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to get a business card and a car magnet and a name badge that says your name is with X company. And you're going to walk into the coffee store and everybody's going to be like, you have radiant behavior. Would you sell my house for me? It's not how it works. Like you got to have customers. And number two thing is, do you actually want to talk to customers? Cause you're like, I have a real estate license, but I really don't want to talk to people. That's a problem. So you have a real estate license. You probably need a therapist, but seriously, it's a contact sport, right? Real estate is a contact sport. It is part sales. It is part marketing. And I would say it's more marketing than sales. Marketing is basically less about cajoling and time sharing and arm twisting and mind control. It's like, Hey, like that person knows what they're talking about. I should hire them to sell my house. And it's about putting yourself in a position where people would say, I see them helping me and fake it till you make it isn't going to get you there. So do you have chops for marketing? Ultimately, that's the key. When I got into real estate, I sold my first 50, 100 homes months into the business, not months into the business. Real estate salespeople always exaggerating. I would say at about two year mark, I was in the 50 to 100 range in terms of homes sold, but I hit the ground running out of the gates. I understood marketing. I knew how to generate business to come to me. And that's super important because a lot of what people are taught is to basically harass everybody you know, and when your uncle and aunt buys a house and your cousin, you're out of business. And ultimately in Central Florida, and I think a lot of markets probably line up the same way, more than 80% of all real estate agents in Central Florida, there's over 15,000 realtors in the Orlando board, they won't even sell one house every two months. And if you have a broker who's taken 50, 70% of that, you might as well be flipping burgers at Burger King. You might as well be making tacos at Taco Bell. You might as well be making rice at Panda Express. You get the idea. The point is this. People get into real estate, it's like, oh wow, you make $7,000 on one transaction. Wow, I could like kick back for two months straight. No, it's not how it works. You're self-employed. Nobody's gonna pay you next Friday. I run to countless realtors that don't even make six homes a year on a regular basis. They can't, they're in the business for two years, they sell four houses. If you're married to that person, tell, 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 tell him to get a job. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Listen, it's about marketing. So test your marketing chops before you get in the real estate business. You know how you can do that? I got two ideas for you. Number one, you have a house. Why don't you advertise your own house for sale and talk to buyers? Did you know you could do that right now? You don't have to have a real estate license to advertise your own home. Okay. So if you're going to get in real estate, you own a condo, a townhouse, a house, whatever, start advertising it, start marketing it. Can you make the phone ring? Can you talk to buyers? Start there. Do you like talking to buyers? Do you know how to make sure the buyer's qualified? Now you'd say, well, Jared, if I advertise my home, I'll have to sell it. Now that's not exactly how it works, but you will find out if you can do this business, at least touch your toes in the water. You start, you, you try it out. So the second thing I would tell you to do 
is try to find a seller. Now, you're not going to list the home for sale, silly. You don't have a real estate license yet. But could you find a seller as an investor? As a real estate investor, you can knock doors, call people, inquire people that are wanting to sell and see if they'll call you back. See if you can generate conversation with home sellers. See if you can find out if they're worth talking to. Find out if you enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Because as an investor, you literally could talk to home sellers. You don't need a real estate license to do that. And you'll find out. Do you enjoy it? And again, listen. I want everybody to be in the real estate business that wants to be in the business. It's the only thing I've done for 19 years. But I can tell you more often than not, I see people who get in the business who expect it to be someone else and they spent hours of study. They had all their money go in. I mean, you pay a couple thousand dollars at the gates to join all the associations, all the systems and tools that you need as a real estate agent just to start to find out that you're paying out more than you're actually making in the short term. Now listen, if you would say to yourself, man, that doesn't seem like fun. I would tell you that there's other ways of doing business, which is getting into the concept of being a support person on someone else's real estate business. That's also a great way for you to get into the real estate industry and actually try cutting your teeth and learning parts of the process without having to try and get in and do the whole scale of work from one end to the other. But that's it for now. If you're getting in the real estate business, I wish you the best of success. If you can't pass the test the first time, it's probably a sign you shouldn't be in the business though. Just kidding, I didn't pass the test the first time. Anyway, have you ever given any thought to being in real estate? Comment about it below. If you're in real estate, love it, hate it, winning, killing it, losing, what are your thoughts right now? Let's start the conversation in the comments. We'll talk to you guys real soon.